So, this video is definitely going to be a bit of a nostalgia hit because, you know, we haven't had training for about a week, but basically, a millionaire that literally had millions of credits hit up my friend and said, buy whatever you want with these credits. Gave him one mil credits to spend on whatever he wants, and this is what he bought. So, we're going to be going through everything. First of all, buying an emerald set. Can't blame it. The emeralds are extremely underrated. Obviously, back in the day, they're worth an absolute time, but they dropped off in price heavily. But, yeah. Even so, he's going to be buying a cheeky little white octane next. You really can't go wrong with that, you know. White octane, standard item that you're going to get, even though it's definitely going to get released into the shop when Christmas Day comes around, 100%. Uh, next up, going to be some extremely rare items. We've got a titanium white striker sovereigns, I'm pretty sure, and a striker sky blue EQ. Not too sure about the EQ. He could definitely get titanium white when he's got literally unlimited credits to spend. But even so, solid little trade right there, picking them up. Extremely rare, extremely OG. The tunicas. These things, the pros are going absolutely mental over at the time. And I'm pretty sure they were selling ridiculously high in value on the last day. The last day was ridiculous. I probably could have sold my Alpha Boost for a good few hundred more dollars if I was actually careful and sold it on the last day. But the pressure to get a goal in that time, no chance whatsoever. And this, one of the rarest sets in the game. I've never seen it before. Striker Quimby set. I generally, I've seen maybe one or two regular strikers in the game. That's about it. Honestly, they are so, so hard to come by. And the thing is with me, I'm so lucky that I've got so many crates so I can keep expanding my inventory now that I sold pretty much everything. But for the most, most of the players in the game, they can't really do much. Like, obviously, trading's gone. How are they going to get new items? I guess doing trade-ups and stuff like that. Leave a comment down below with what you're doing if you've got any new items. But it's going to be quite difficult. When all my crates are gone, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm not going to be buying from the shop at all, really, unless there's a gold octane. That's about it. But next up, bait and nugget, of course. This is another item that sort of stings a little bit because I had that for so many years but had to sell it because obviously getting the credits in for the content for you guys had to be done. So yeah, obviously you bought a good base nugget right there. Next up, this actually shocked me so, so much. CRO Northern, 65,000 credits. Uh, since when? What? They were 40k at the, like, the peak of their time. Why are they 65k at that point? It literally insane. That caught me off guard so much. Now this one... I'm pretty sure it gets a little bit confusing because he's buying... What's he even buying? Okay, he's got black dioceses and a white dom in there. I think for like 80, 90 sort of range of 1,000 credits. I don't know what happened to the clip though. Uh, yeah, not really too sure what happened with it. But of course, getting himself... Uh, the black dice is the main thing. Obviously, the Dominus you can get from the shop if you wanted to. And this final trade, just to explain it, he's buying an Alpha Cat for, I do believe, 140,000 credits. Giving over the 40k and then the 100k to get himself the Alpha Cap. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get myself some brand new items in the only way possible. Let's get into it. And that is going to be going through the 5,000 plus crates we have got in the inventory. We're going to go down and maybe do like a little 25 opening today. So how are you doing? Leave a comment down below. And I can't get enough of doing these crate openings right now. Building up the inventory. Building up the... <clears throat> right, good troll for the first one, but building up the inventory, building up the titanium white items, hopefully, as well. I'm, it's a shame we got a grey right there, but completely fine by me. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing trade-ups as well very soon, because I think when we hit maybe 500 crates down, we'll do a trade-up video, and then every single 500-plus crates after that, we'll get it going. But yeah, some insane trades there, to say the least. I'm very glad that he obviously got the items that he wanted. He had a million credits to spend, and he spent... Uh, most of them in 24 hours, which is ridiculous. It was on the very last day. His friend hit him up saying, right, I'm going to give you these credits. Buy the coolest items possible because he hasn't got a clue. He just got a mil credits and was like, right, this is your gift, okay? Do whatever you want with these credits, which I'm jealous. That would be quite a task, to be honest. Like, it would be a lot of pressure to buy, like, certain items. I wouldn't know what to buy. But, yeah, went for the generic expensive items. A, a few really cool sets that are pretty much one of one in the game. So, yeah, obviously, yeah. Trading's gone now, so no one's going to be sort of like joining that sort of like luck, well, luck, inventory size, whatever you want to call it. We get a Spiralis regular right there. But yeah, these crates have been pretty good. Like the last episode, we got two black markets in one video. So today, we'll just see what, what, we'll just see what it brings. And honestly, uh, yeah, they just released the update for their brand new, what is it called? Winterfest, that's it. Winter, no, Frosty Fest. Um, so there's a golden gift, 23 out. It's a real shame, though, because you can only get five per account. So I'm going to have to play 20 games tomorrow or today, later tonight, uh, to get that video up. I'm pretty sure it may be a good... Actually, I'm thinking about this logically. Maybe I uploaded it before today? I don't really know. I'm trying to plan out when I do my videos. But yeah, that'll be up on the channel very, very soon if it hasn't, but hasn't been already. I'll be opening up the brand new golden gift, showcasing what you can get out of it. But... For the most part, don't even bother because you can't trade off the items anyway. In the crate, more than likely you're going to get a rare. So obviously, if you're playing the game naturally and you do get, like, if you do get it, obviously, like, it's not the end of the world. You can just open it up, happy days. But it's definitely not something to grind for like back in the day where you could sell the crate on, get a load of profit, bang. 
easy as you like. I generally was paying 300 credits per every single brand new crate. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably, yeah, get one, then do a massive golden gift opening to celebrate a brand new win through a vet. But the people on Twitter, not too happy about it. It's the same old thing, obviously. They can't really do much with an update like that. Uh, but these have been really underwhelming so far. Yeah, regular pixel fire. I'm pretty sure you can't get any paint pixel fires, which is a bit annoying. Uh, screw it. We'll, do, we'll go down to... Yeah, we'll do a 30 opening. If we don't get anything else, because this, <laughs> this hasn't been too great. No painted exotic. One painted import. And that was a grey item, so I don't really care about it. We got ourselves a snake skin for the dominoes. One of my first ever decals. It was so, so cool. I remember trying to put it on the octane, though. Because I was confused what Black Markets did. And I got a snake skin. I was like, right, this is cool. Let me put it on the octane. It didn't work. So then, yeah, that's where the attraction always went for the Black Market. Because you can put it on any car possible. And still to this day, they are good. Like, for thumbnails and rarity, it just looks so cool seeing that purple glare. Purple glare. Like, right now, nope. <laughs> like, it's lovely rare. But, yeah, end of the day, they, like, they dropped in price rid ridiculously. It was because of the trade-up updates in Season 3. They just dropped off an absolute cliff in value. Because every single person on the planet was just getting random black markets for pretty much nothing. It was ridiculous. But, come on. This, I, I don't even know what to say because we haven't got anything to talk about. Because where's the luck at? Obviously, it was someone else that was buying all those items. Five to go. Please. Oh, my God. This has actually been really bad for a 30 opening. Um... I'll be glad when these eggs are gone down to a thousand. Then it gives me an excuse to go over to the trophies for a little bit. But for now, oh my god. Oh! There we go. Titanium white sprout is flare. What turtle flare is certified? Then it's something else. And then also white. I don't think I've ever seen that. That is so, so sick. All right. Okay, fair, fair play. I've been stood corrected. That is quite cool. Definitely not getting traded up at all. Uh, but the rest is open. There's really... There we go. There's the hyping over. Lovely stuff. Not going to be trading that up. Keeping one of them in the inventory. But, yeah. Other than that, this opening has been pretty diabolical. But, you know what? Two to go. Let's see what we can get. Can we get treated by Epic Games? No, we cannot. And the very last one is always a rare. I can pretty much guarantee that. So, yeah. There we go. Lovely rare to finish things off. And, yeah. We'll probably do a massive... <laughs> what did I say? We'll do a massive golden gift opening tomorrow. Uh, I need to work out, actually, which golden gift do we want to do. Um, probably, actually, 22s are good. Might go to the 20s, you know, and go down to 150 of them. We'll have to wait and see. But, of course, make sure you subscribe for more daily Rocketty content. And, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.